Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Crack attack, crack attack. Alarm red, mop four. There's a crack attack taking place in Saudi. Jarrell, big baby, big butt, big crack Miller is out there, man. And he has people concerned about him weighing 320 pounds. And the man is out there just excreting grease out the pores of his skin. Probably too many cheeseburgers. And I'm sure he's been eating some Donna kebabs, some lamb, rice, yogurt sauce, and having a good time out there in Saudi. But on a serious note, who out here gives Daniel Dubois a chance in hell to beat this 320 plus pound bison crack attack, Gerald Big Baby Miller? See, this is the thing. Eddie Hearn and everyone else when this fight was made said this is a horrible matchup for Daniel Dubois, Triple D, because of what problems he ran into with um, Joe Joyce early in his career. The fact that he almost got knocked knocked out in the fight before he fought Daniel Dubois, uh, before he fought um, Yusik. They're saying that mentally they don't think he's there. He has some quit in him. And if the fight between him and Gerald Miller gets beyond four or five rounds, Daniel Dubois has no chance in hell because we all know Jarrell Crack Attack Miller. Although that boy is weighing about 675 pounds, he does not slow down. He, 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 he can throw up to 100 punches around if he wants to. And he can do that from the first round to the last round. And he's doing this while passing all of his uh, blood and urine tests. So that lets you know that obviously he's clean. Makes you wonder what the hell was going on with him before. And, and, and if he was just taking all of those pads, like he says, to possibly to level out the playing field against AJ because AJ has been taking uh, 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 steroids uh, since he turned pro. Now, I don't know all the background on the steroid stuff, but I know that there was an exemption in place, and it's come up several times. Gerald Miller has hurled these, uh, these statements at him, uh, and Anthony Joshua hasn't said anything. Eddie Hearn hasn't said anything. Let me tell you something. If what Joe Big Baby Crack Attack Miller, if what he's saying is not true, Eddie Hearn would have been got in front of the camera and dealt with uh with those allegations but obviously they must be true must be some truth to it now maybe aj needed the steroids i don't know it doesn't mean he was taking something uh, some kind of banned substance but he was taking something um that obviously he was able to get an exemption for now i wish there was more information on that but man i'm like nobody's saying nothing nobody's saying anything i just wish they would come out and address it but the bottom line is I think uh, Jarrell, Big Baby, Big Crack, Crack Attack, Big Butt, Booker from Good Times. I, I think, Bookman from Good Times. I I think, I think he gets Daniel Dubois. I know some people feel Daniel Dubois can knock him out within the first four rounds. He's got the power to do it. I'm like, who? What? When? Where? Why? How? How's he going to pull that off against Jarrell? That, that's all I'm saying. How? Jarrell Miller, we know he has a chin. Daniel Dubois doesn't have a great chin. We know Jarrell Miller has a good engine. Daniel DeBois doesn't have a good engine. Power-wise, DeBois has power. Jarrell has respectable power. Okay? But he doesn't pack the one hit a quitter. But he just, you know, basically just beats you down over the course of the fight. And eventually, you know, he gets the stoppage. But I'm going to tell you all right now, man, is uh, for D D Triple D DeBois, it won't be good for him to have back-to-back -back losses. I really don't know why... Why would they put him in a fight with Gerald Miller? I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. It's stupid. It doesn't make sense. Maybe they're feeling that uh, Gerald Miller, will, because he's 320 plus pounds, will stand in front of Daniel Dubois, give him a chance to land his big shots and knock him out. I just don't think that happens. I think Dubois has a good chance to hit him, to stun him, to buzz him, daze him, but I don't think he has enough to get a stoppage. And, and I just think over the course of the fight, you're going to see oh, Crack Attack Miller uh, by round eight. I think he stops Dubois. And I know Dang Dubois' dad manages him, but at some point in time, Pops, Pops are going to have to sit back and make a decision of what they're going to do with Dubois because Dubois is not quite a gatekeeper yet, but he's not, um, 
he's not at that champion championship level because of his loss and how he lost and the fact that it looks like he could be about to lose and be his third loss. So we'll see going forward. We will see. Um, but what I will say is I think this is jeopardy for both men. And I think this is the toughest fight uh, for Miller at this point in his career. And uh, him being 35, and I think for DeBar, this may be the toughest fight of his career because of what's at stake. Okay, quite simple. Now, um, I just think Daniel DeBar is looking to silence the doubters. Gerald Big Baby Miller is looking to silence the doubters. And for any one of them to lose is just, you know, bad medicine. That being said, we'll see what happens, if he can do it. But I'm going to tell you right now, what people talking about the fact that Gerald Big Baby Miller has all this crack and shit coming out of those... I guess it was like a, like a, like a quadruple X spandex um, pants. Uh, I'm going to tell you, he's always been big. And he hasn't seemed to have had any stamina issues. Hasn't seemed to have any issues with endurance. He hasn't seemed to struggle in that area. He's just a big guy. He's, he's an athlete. He's been kickboxing for a lot of years to turn to boxing. So this isn't something new to him. He's been doing this shit nonstop for a long time. That's why when you see him get in the ring, he, he can perform. But I fully expect him to put on a better show against the bar than he did against Lucas Lucas Brown. That being said, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, all seven continents. I'm in the breeze.